Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams is an activist, a mom, a reality TV personality, a radio host, and of course, a phoenix who continues to rise. But is there still even more to the reality TV personality? Find out the untold truth of Portia Williams. Viewers of The Real Housewives of Atlanta watch Portia Williams' marriage to NFL player Cordell Stewart disintegrate on the show, ultimately resulting in divorce. As she picked up the pieces, Williams told Bravo's The Daily Dish in January 2014 she was channeling all that heartbreak in a musical direction for her single Flatline. As she explained to the website, I've been working on this song throughout the whole divorce and the whole season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, mapping out my emotions and putting in things that I've gone through. It's really kind of a documentary of everything that I went through to become who I am now. After the release of Flatline, she performed the tune on stage in New York City in May 2014 and later that year at the Allstate Tom Joyner family reunion. According to a press release, Williams' first and currently only single debuted at number three on the iTunes R&B Top 100 chart. In 2020, Portia Williams was among the millions who took to the streets in protest after police shot and killed Breonna Taylor. Protesting for social justice is in her blood, given that she's the granddaughter of famed civil rights activist and politician Reverend Hosea Williams, who worked alongside Martin Luther King Jr. and helped to organize the historic march from Selma to Montgomery in 1965. During an appearance on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live, Williams was asked what her late grandfather would think of her role on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she declared he would love it. In fact, she equated her grandfather's outspokenness to a Real Housewives persona. According to Williams, her grandfather was nicknamed the Bull in the China Cabinet because of his ability to inspire and rally everyone around the cause. And she went on to say, So, me being how I am is exactly how he was. He was just as outspoken and passionate as me. Given her family history, it's not surprising that Williams would be active in working for change. As a profile in the New York Times put it, she may come across as a quote, glamorous goofball on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, but crusading for civil rights is something she takes deadly seriously. As she told The Times, When I saw that video of George Floyd being murdered, I knew that I had to change the way I was moving. It awoke something in me that I knew was there. I have always had a heart for the people, it's in my blood." She noted that she considered what kind of repercussions her activism could hold for her reality TV career, but decided to let the chips fall, saying, "...that meant now I have to sacrifice myself, my finance, my brand, my everything, and put it all on the line for change." As Williams added in an interview with Elle, she simply felt as if she really didn't have a choice, explaining, "...I have a platform and I felt compelled to use it to bring awareness to what is happening to black folks in America and the need for us to take action in America. Williams was arrested twice in 2020 while participating in peaceful protests. Portia Williams has had other brushes with the law. Williams and rival Kenya Moore got into it during a 2014 Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion special, which became so heated that Williams pulled Moore's hair. Moore then pressed charges. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that Williams was subsequently served with an arrest warrant and turned herself in. She was released after posting $2,000 bail. Williams found herself behind bars again later that year, reported TMZ, when she was pulled over for allegedly driving 78 miles per hour in a 55 miles per hour zone. It wasn't the speeding that led to her arrest, however, but the fact that her license had been suspended, and that she allegedly refused to let the officer handcuff her while cursing at him. After her divorce, Williams moved on and eventually became engaged to Dennis McKinley. When she learned that she and her then-fiancé were going to be parents, the news wasn't met with the kind of joy that an expectant mother would typically feel. As The Real Housewives of Atlanta star told People in 2018, experiencing a miscarriage several years earlier had left her full of anxiety about becoming pregnant. As she said to People, "...when I found out I was pregnant, I was excited, but I had mixed feelings. The other feeling that I had beside excitement was fear." So just the fear of, is the baby going to be okay? Will I make it full term? All those questions that you ask if you've had a miscarriage before. It wasn't until she'd been examined by her doctor that she was finally able to accept that she would become a mother. In March 2019, Williams welcomed a daughter born without complications. William's relationship with new fiancé Dennis McKinley proved to be no less turbulent than her previous one with Cordell Stewart. This came to a head when McKinley admitted to cheating following the birth of their daughter. He blamed his infidelity on William's postpartum depression after the birth of their daughter. I was pregnant. I was literally sitting on the couch and trying to grow our daughter. You know, like so, and and these are the moments where he was doing what he was doing. In a discussion on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 after show, Williams revealed another possible reason, believing she possibly contributed to an atmosphere that may have led him to believe he'd be easily forgiven for cheating, saying, "I did have a pattern of even saying out loud, ignorance is bliss. I don't even want to know. I'm not asking all those questions. You don't realize when you're saying all that stuff like that, it lands somewhere. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the crisis text line by texting home to 741741.
Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI. That's 6264. Or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website. After her marriage and subsequent engagement imploded in front of reality TV cameras, Portia Williams took a bold step in May 2021 when she took to Instagram to reveal she was in a relationship with Simon Gobadia. As regular viewers of The Real Housewives of Atlanta are well aware, what made this relationship particularly awkward was that Simon had recently divorced Williams' co-star Fallon Gobadia. Williams' new beau shared a post on Instagram later that same day to reveal that not only were they an item, they were engaged. Fallon Gobadia initially stayed silent before eventually issuing a diplomatic statement to E!, which said, At this time, I am focusing on finalizing my divorce and healing, sending positivity to all of you. While Portia Williams' engagement to the ex-husband of another Real Housewives of Atlanta star left viewers of the show stunned, a member of another Real Housewives cast voiced her skepticism. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and the Real co-host Garcelle Beauvais admitted she was dubious that the whole thing was legit, saying, I don't think she took her man, but a month, you guys? A month. First of all, he's recently divorced. There hasn't even been time to reflect, to see what did I do wrong, what did he do wrong, what did she do wrong, and then all of a sudden we're engaged? Beauvais, certainly no stranger to the inner workings of reality TV, posited her theory, quipping, I mean, it sounds to me like it's a storyline for next season. Beauvais hasn't been the only one to express doubts. An anonymous source spoke to Reality Blurb, pointing out the convenient timing of the engagement in relation to production of the special about Williams, noting that Simon would likely be a part of it. Less than a month after announcing her engagement to Simon Gobadia, Portia Williams revealed she was already heavily invested in planning the couple's upcoming nuptials. During an edition of Dish Nation, she dropped some details about her wedding plans. Noting that her fiancé is African, Williams revealed that three ceremonies are planned, including one out of the country. In advance of the wedding, Williams told her Dish Nation co-stars about another way she commemorated her love for Gobadia, saying, I got my fiancé's middle name tattooed on my neck. It doesn't hurt. And, you know, I think that's cute. When Williams decided to buy her fiancé an engagement ring, she knew not any old ring would do. And in September 2021, she posted a video on Instagram where she, Simon, and some friends peruse rings in Tiffany & Co. The action continued in a second Instagram video, in which the couple became emotional over their ring-buying experience, saying in the caption, "'Yes, we both are professing our love and are reminded every time we look down at our left hand that this is a promise and love that will last a lifetime.'" In a third Instagram post, Williams shared a close-up photo of her left hand intertwined with that of her fiancé showcasing their respective rings. Portia Williams has been a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast since 2012. On top of that, she has other business ventures, such as her Pampered by Portia bedding products and a line of hair extensions called Go Naked Hair. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Williams' fortune is valued at an estimated $400,000. A decent amount, to be sure, but hardly what would be expected from a longtime reality TV star with all those irons in the fire. However, a report from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution indicated that Williams had experienced some serious cash flow problems following her divorce from Cordell Stewart. Because she didn't pay her taxes. She mm. lost a condo. Wow, I did not yeah. know that. Yeah. In addition, court documents obtained by TMZ indicated that she owed nearly $18,000 to her Condo Homeowners Association, which filed a lawsuit attempting to garnish her wages. Meanwhile, All About the Tea reported that the daycare center she owned was likewise sold at foreclosure after she allegedly defaulted on a loan. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite reality TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.